What's up YouTube? So today I am kind of fitting up the body work. It looks like I'm going to need a new front bash bar. Uh, the previous shop that made the bash bar uh, made it work with the D-Max Type 3 front bumper and I have a Super Doof front bumper from 2F Performance so it's kind of interfering. We should be able to make a new one next week or uh, not next week, this coming Friday and Saturday, I'll bring the car down to Kent. While we're doing the Wise Fab, we should be able to whip up a new front bash bar, but I'm really excited with how the car is looking. It actually finally looks like a car now, so I will show you guys that and do a little walk around. All right, so we've got the side skirts sitting on there. They're not bolted up, that's why they're kind of poking out. We've got the front fenders on, front bumper just sitting there with some boxes under it just to kind of hold it up. But yeah, this bash bar was made for a D-Max Type 3 front bumper. And like I was saying, I've got a 2F Performance Super Duty front bumper. So the angles are a little off on this one. So we're going to make a new one, hopefully, or maybe even modify this one to work with this new front bumper. But yeah, we got the side skirts on both sides we've got the rear bumper on kind of got to kind of cut this section out to fit my rear bash bar but most people do that and then yesterday my dad got these cooling vents cut out we're gonna get some screening and um we're gonna rivet it to the trunk and paint it black and then I set a D-Max spoiler on it. I need to get a new one because this one's all busted and cracked but overall I'm really stoked with how the car looks. Alright so now I'm heading out to J2 uh, Racing in Monroe to pick up the screen for the deck lid that we're going to pop rivet on. We're going to paint the screen black so it'll match everything else uh and then we are also going to pick up some dash 10 an line because we're gonna change the return line on my power steering pump to a dash 10 it is um dash six and we're thinking that it's probably a little too small and this mount's really bouncing around sorry about that uh but yeah we're gonna pick up dash 10 line, the screening, and then we're gonna see if they have Zeus fasteners uh, to hold my side skirts on. Uh, Zeus fasteners are just like a quarter turn style screw. Uh, it, you turn it and it like picks up a wire and it'll hold things on, like bumpers, side skirts, uh, really anything that you wanna hold on. But it'll make it a lot easier and faster when we're loading the car onto a trailer. Just quarter turn and the side skirts will pop off. Uh, and then other than that, oh yeah, we also figured out what we're going to do with the bash bar. It looks like we can probably just cut it uh, where it wraps around. Because where it wraps around, it's interfering with this 2F performance bumper. So we're going to cut it where it wraps and we should be able to mount the bumper and not have to make a new bash bar, at least not right away. This will just get me through for next event on May 9th. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I think they're running the mini Irwindale layout. So that'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm gonna head out there and I will meet up with you guys after.
right, so just made it to J2. I'm gonna run in there real quick and grab the stuff that I need. I'm not gonna film when I go in there because I'm not sure how the owner feels about people filming in there, but if he's cool with it, the next time I come back, I will take you guys on a little tour of J2 Racing. They've got all sorts of stuff. They've got a ton of Phoenix Industries fittings and lines and hardware and all sorts of cool stuff in there so I would definitely try and see if I can uh, come back one of these days and show you guys around but yeah I'm gonna run in there real quick and I'll see you guys in a few all right so just picked up everything that I needed from J2 unfortunately they didn't have everything needed for Zeus fasteners so I'll have to get that another time but I did pick up some hood pins for my trunk lid uh, the screening and then the dash 10 AN line for the power steering pump. So I'll show you guys that real quick and then I'm going to head home. All right, so here are the hood pins, deck lid pins, whatever you want to call them. I mean, you can really use them wherever. Uh, the part number is 18480. They're 3 8 inch. Uh, so I picked up two packages of these. And then here is the dash 10 line. And then here's the screen that we're going to pop rivet to the deck lid. So it should turn out pretty nicely and go on fairly easy. So there's everything that I picked up and we'll have to wait until they get the rest of the Zeus fastener stuff. So I will meet up with you guys when I get back home. All right, so I'm gonna close this video out for today. Um, just got home a few minutes ago. I'm not really gonna do much more on the car today because it's getting late and it's kind of a two person job and my dad's busy right now. So subframe's supposed to be here today by seven. I'm gonna bring it down to my friend tomorrow so that we can get started on it early. We're gonna sandblast it and get all the old paint off of it so it's easier to weld and cut. So tomorrow I'll meet back up with you guys and uh, show you a little bit of what we're going to do. So for now, I'll see you guys later.